Good day, everyone. Our topic for today is all about soil consistency, another soil physical property. Soil consistency refers to the ability of soil to stick to itself or to other objects, cohesion or adhesion respectively, and its ability to resist deformation and rupture. This property of the soil largely depends on soil minerals and water content. It is used to describe the resistance of a soil at various moisture contents to mechanical stresses or manipulations, and commonly measured by filling and manipulating the soil by hand or by pulling a tillage instrument through it. In observing the soil consistency, a clot is squeezed between the thumb and the four fingers, and observations are made on the amount of force needed to crush the clot and the manner in which the soil responds to the force. Soil consistency is used in predicting cultivation problems and the ability of soil to support buildings and roads. More precise measures of soil strengths are often made prior to construction. And soils are rated for consistency as part of describing a soil profile and estimating suitability for tillage. Soil consistency is being measured at three moisture conditions, such as wet, if the moisture content is at or slightly more than filled capacity, moist if the moisture content is between the filled capacity and the permanent wilting point, dry if it is air dry. In this table, you can see the terms used to describe soil consistency at the three moisture levels. So let's discuss all of this one by one. Let us first discuss the wet soil consistency. There are two attributes of soil that are being measured when the soil is wet. One is the stickiness. Stickiness is the ability of the soil material to adhere to other objects. The other one is plasticity. It is the ability of the soil material to change shape but not volume, continuously under the influence of an applied stress and to retain the impressed shape on removal of the stress. It is non-sticky if no soil or practically no soil sticks to your finger. It is slightly sticky if the soil begins to stick to your fingers but comes off one or the other cleanly and does not stretch when the fingers are opened. It is sticky if the soil sticks to both the thumb and the forefinger and tends to stretch a little and pull apart rather than pulling free from your fingers. It is very sticky if the soil sticks firmly to both thumb and forefinger and stretches when the fingers are opened. So that's all for field testing of the stickiness of wet soil. Now we move on for field testing of the plasticity of wet soil. Initially, you can roll a small amount of wet soil between the palms, palms of your hands until it forms a long, round strip like a wire about 3 mm thick. And you can rate the plasticity as follows. The soil is non-plastic 
if no wire can be formed by rolling material between the hands. It is slightly plastic. If a wire can be formed but can easily be broken and returned to its former state. And it is plastic. If a wire can be formed but when it is broken and returned to its former state, it cannot be formed again. It is very plastic if a wire can be formed, which cannot be broken easily, and when it is broken, it can be rolled between your hands and be reformed several times. We are done now with the field testing of the plasticity of wet soil. Now we move on to the field testing of the moist soil consistency. Testing is done when the soil sample is moist but not wet as for example, 24 hours after a good rainfall. Try to crush a small amount of moist soil by pressing it between your thumb and forefinger or by squeezing it in the palm of your hand. And you can rate moist soil consistency as follows. It is loose if the soil is non-coherent or has a single grain structure. It is very friable if the soil crushes easily under gentle pressure but will stick together if pressed again. It is friable if the soil crushes easily under gentle to moderate pressure. And it is firm if the soil crushes under moderate pressure but resistance is noticeable. It is very firm if the soil crushes under strong pressure, but this is difficult to do between the thumb and the forefinger. And it is extremely firm if the soil crushes only under very strong pressure and cannot be crushed between the thumb and the forefinger, but must be broken apart bit by bit. So that's all for moist soil consistency. Now, we are moving on for field testing of dry soil consistency. And testing is done when the soil has been air dried. Try to break a small amount of dry soil by pressing it between your thumb and forefinger or by squeezing it in the palm of your hand. And you can rate dry soil consistency as follows. And it is loose if the soil is non coherent or has a single green structure. Is it soft if the soil is very weakly coherent and friable, breaking to powder or individual greens under very slight pressure? It is slightly hard if the soil resists slight pressure but can be broken easily to powder or individual greens between the thumb and the forefinger. It is hard if the soil resists moderate pressure can be barely broken between the thumb and the forefinger, but can be broken in the hands without difficulty. While it is very hard if the soil resists great pressure, cannot be broken between the thumb and the forefinger, but can be broken in the hands with difficulty. And it is extremely hard if the soil resists extreme pressure, and cannot be broken in the hands. Now we are moving to the determination of soil consistency using Atterberg limits. Atterberg limits are created by Albert Atterberg, a Swedish chemist, and were later refined by Arthur Casagrande. In the order of increasing moisture content, a dry soil will exist into four distinct states. You have the solid state, Semi solid, plastic, and liquid state. The water contents at the boundary of the states are known as Atterberg limits. Between the solid and the semi solid state is a shrinkage limit. Between the semi solid and plastic states is plastic limit. And between plastic and liquid state is the liquid limit. These are the water contents 
at critical stages of soil behavior. Together, with natural water content are essential descriptions of fine green soils. The grid limit is the water content of soil in which soil grains are separated by water enough for the soil mass to lose strength. A little higher than this water content will tend the soil to flow like viscous fluid, while a little lower will cause the soil to behave as plastic. Using the Casagrande apparatus, the grid limit is determined through the following steps. Soil is mixed with distilled water, turning it into a paste. Soil paste is placed into the cup to a thickness of about 12.5 mm. Groove is cut at the center of the paste using the standard grooving tool. And conk operating the cam is turned at a rate of 2 revolutions per second. Lifting the cup and dropping it from height of 10 mm. And then the liquid limit is the moisture content required to close the 12.5 mm along the bottom of the groove after 25 loops. This is the Casagandre apparatus. Plastic limit is the water content in which the soil will pass from plastic state to semi-solid state. This is when the soil can no longer behave as plastic, and any change in shape will cause the soil to show visible cracks. Determination of plastic limit is done by rolling a small soil sample into thin threads until it crumbles. The water content at which the thread break at approximately 3 mm in diameter is the plastic limit. On the other hand, shrinkage limit is the water content in which the soil no longer changes in volume regardless of water drying. It is the lowest water content possible for the soil to be completely saturated, and the point in which soil will pass from semi-solid solid state. There is also what we call the plasticity index. Plasticity index is a measure of plasticity of a soil. It is the difference between the liquid limit and the plastic limit. Those with high plasticity index tend to be clay, while those with a lower plasticity index tend to be silk, and those with pi of zero are non-plastic and tend to have little or no silk or clay. So in this table are the plasticity indexes and the equivalent plasticity description. We have 0 for non-plastic, 1 to 5 for slightly plastic, 5 to 10 for low plasticity, 10 to 20 for medium plasticity, 20 to 40 for high plasticity, and greater than 40 for very high plasticity. So that's all for soil consistency. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe.